This is a Samic KR9640 SDQ. This is a quilted maple, cherry sunburst top, all gold, all gold hardware, Avalon inlays, Avalon binding. Has a very nice pretty back to it as well. It's kind of like just a straight cherry versus the front has the sunburst. And the gold hardware is also included here. And we got a top piece here that holds all your Allen wrenches, which is they're not in there. Didn't come with a guitar. Pretty sure they got lost over time. It's had some wear and tear. Yeah, roughly this instrument used from a gentleman who had it for several years. Uh, only costed about $250, including a hard case. And they do not, the, this brand does not get enough hype. It really doesn't. And I love this brand, and I grew up with it. And my very first guitar was a Samet growing up. And I got one behind me that I'm working on right now because the string broke when I was playing some songs. So I'm just going to actually run through a little bit of the uh, sounds on this thing. It is an ebony board, so it's nice. got that nice black contrast to the actual color, fullness of the body. And I'm just going to play around with it because I said I was going to make a video several weeks ago. I've been busy, but let's have at it. pretty loath. Alright, but the uh, pickups in this are Seymour Duncan based. This is a 1996 and the waveform up here in the headstock was the first run and then uh, after 96 and 97 they changed their headstock look again which is not the headstock itself. Usually there are more birded kind of beat. This is a rounded off kind of beat, kind of more like a hockey stick and the uh, artist series is no longer has this Samic fan. It has the uh, just a, like a check mark and a, and a red line, and that's when they started doing that in '97. Uh, but uh, the Samics, they they made some other ones back in 2000, up in 2000, up through the 2006, and ran those for a couple years. And those are the Greg Bennett series. Some people run into them, and if they're not set up right, they do feel cheap. But that's almost any guitar. <laughs> This brand, this uh, artist series, these were the handmade ones um, versus like a machine type kind of made. And I have two of them, both kinds. This is the Cherry Sunburst. The other one is the Binga Top, and I'm going to save that one for another time. And let's play a little of the distortion. And this is a 5150 type model. <laughs>
So technically, I think that the Samick brand is very underrated, especially for the years that they released really good quality instruments, and they've yet they and they have done so through uh, electric guitars, basses, acoustics, and I do have uh, some of the Artist Series acoustics. Well, I have one Artist Series acoustic that I will definitely do a video on the Babinga and a couple of my Greg Bennett series that I really really enjoy playing around with and you know when you can pick these instruments up used <clears throat> for at least I don't know my strat types with wood grain uh, which is <clears throat> right here and you can see it's got a pretty it's got the nicest prettiest wood front and back bolt-on necks all of them pretty much the head socks to me, I like them. A lot of other people don't. But if you set them up right and you keep the electronics clean, just like any other instrument, they're going to play great. And that's the way I look at things. I, I collect a lot of older instruments and I enjoy them very much. After you clean them up, set them up, have the electronics going uh, properly, you can make any guitar sing. This is your buddy Bobby. I'll see y'all next time.